He went into the lake to paddleboard, but witnesses saw a man go underwater in fissures, and hours later, searchers found his body. Now investigators are trying to figure out what led to this man's drowning. Our Emily Longnecker shows us the rescue turned recovery at Saxony Beach. Well, Jenny, Saxony Lake and Beach is a 20-acre area where people come to swim, and on the weekends they can rent kayaks and paddleboards. We know the victim was on a paddleboard when he fell off and went into the water, but never came back up. Family and friends of Anthony Dwayne Pinner could only watch and wait this afternoon as area fire department spent several hours searching for the 39-year-old in Saxony Lake after he disappeared just before 3.30, falling off a paddleboard and struggling before going under. Witnesses told emergency crews someone went in the water to try and help Pinner, but couldn't get to him in time. They found his paddleboard, but not Pinner. Family was, was in the area with him. Um, our information is, is that uh, he was on a paddleboard um, uh, by himself. Um, there was a life um, preserver attached to the paddleboard, but, but he did not have it on. Divers with area fire department spent two hours in the water trying to find Pinner. Many times, especially when uh, the, the water is dark, visibility is always very low, so it's a very uh, tedious and methodical approach to our search patterns and, and our rescue attempts. Uh, so the, the water conditions are always a challenge. Crews eventually switched to recovery mode, calling in Indiana's Department of Natural Resources and Sonar Technology by 8 o'clock. DNR divers were able to locate him using uh, sonar technology, um, and um, the victim has been recovered at this time. It's not clear, say emergency crews, why Pinner was not wearing a life vest, but emergency officials say he knew how to swim. It's not known if he was an experienced paddleboarder. This is one of those situations where we, we always encourage people to use your personal devices when out there in the water. Um, even, even for people that know how to swim, it should be a challenge. Medical conditions can happen. And fire crews say this is the first time that anything like this has ever happened at Saxony Lake. An autopsy will be performed on Pinner to determine if he had any kind of medical condition that could have contributed to his death. Jenny? Such a sad situation all the way around. Emily, thank you. Meanwhile, Indiana conservation officers say life jackets can prevent most, if not all, drownings. And you might be surprised to learn that adults older than 20 are actually the most likely to drown. So they say it is important to wear a life jacket, even if you're a good swimmer, when you're out on the water this summer.